In the previous episode, I gave you a tour of Borv campsite and Winston and I went for a windy beach walk with another camper before spending the afternoon sheltering in the pod from the weather. The following day involved an early morning alarm because we needed to catch our second ferry of the trip from the Isle of Barra to Eriskay and then we needed to drive to South Uist as we continue on our Scottish island adventure. So we caught the ferry in the morning and we arrived at Kilbride campsite. It is now about lunchtime on the same day. Should we make a sandwich? Should we have some lunch? Should we? <laughs> Such a silly boy, yeah, yeah. Go on then, let's go make a sandwich. Oh, he's a good sausage. Can we go back on your bed though? Because we haven't got enough room for both of us here. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's so good. Oh, he's so good. Come on. Go on. Good. He's a good boy. Right. For the life of me, I could not seem to cut even slices of corned beef, so I had to use my Tetra skills when placing them in the sandwich. And of course, I can't forget the star of the show. So I sit down to enjoy my sandwich and then I realise I've cut my head off. Now I'm not sure if you would describe that alteration as better, but there you go. My pod's not level, as you can see from my cup of tea. I thought it was. I got the spirit level out and everything and it seemed level-ish. But now I'm in it. And I'm in this place now I'm thinking, is that bad enough for me to go and get my chocks out and re-level it all and faff around with it? Or is it okay just to deal with it? I've not decided yet. I'm kind of in that. I'm on the fence. Is it going to bother me enough that I need to go and do something about it or can I cope with it for the next four nights? I don't know. Come on then. Go! So I did try to settle down and do some work after lunch 
but Winston was having none of it. And to be honest, I don't exactly blame him because while I'm packing the caravan away, driving, sorting the ferry out, driving again and re-pitching the caravan, Winston's either sat in the van or sat in the caravan doing absolutely nothing. So although I took him for a walk on that little beach, it was only about 20, 30 minutes. And for him, that just does not cut the mustard. He is made for more adventures than a 20, 30 minute frolic in the afternoon. So as I started to work, he was like, no, I'm bored. I haven't done enough. I've got all this energy that I don't know what to do with. So we're out on a long walk. We came to another beach. So the beach opposite the campsite, oh, there's my dog, he's halfway in the water. <laughs> so the beach opposite the campsite is only quite a small beach. It's a lovely beach and it has good access to the water, but not great for going on a long walk down. Whereas this beach is much longer and it's available from a short walk from the campsite. You go a little bit down the road and then there's like a, a path through the fields to get to here. So we've walked here, we're gonna walk down the beach a considerable distance and then go back again. And hopefully Winston will then let me do some work. I don't know if you can hear him squeaking his little toy in the background. But his, <laughs> his tail is going. He's very happy to be exploring, to be sniffing and just being a dog. So I brought my old hiking boots with me as kind of a spare pair, but also because I like the support that boots give when you're walking, but I didn't think that the sand and the salt water would be very good for my leather boots. So rather than wrecking them, I brought these. As you can see, they're nice and colourful. Winston's off his way. Winston has found his toy. Oh, can we cross this? Ooh. No, too slippy, too slippy. Oh, Winston proving me wrong. So it's done. Oh, isn't it a bit slippy for me though? Oh. I don't like it. News. Winston's just bossed it, hasn't he? Am I going to make this? Is this silly? Oh, I'm not a fan. Let's go this way. Oh, I don't like how it moves underfoot. Yeah, thanks for waiting for me. Man's best friend, my backside. <laughs> no, he's good really. He won't go anywhere. But obviously, he has little compassion for my predicament right now. anything about birds don't know anything about the type or sounds or nothing no absolutely nothing I could probably identify a seagull and a pigeon and that's it but since I have been here and especially since I've been walking along this stretch of beach I have seen and I've heard lots of different birds I've never seen before and that I have never heard before so if bird watching and spotting is your thing then this might be an ideal place for you to visit. So there's my little bit of travel information for you.
So here's a game of where's Winston. So he likes to hide. His toy is there. When I pick it up and throw it, he will run out of wherever he is hiding. But see if you can spot him first. I can see him. Because I know his little hiding spots or where he likes to hide. I'm going to pick it up and throw it without moving. Oh, hang on. So I've got it and I'll throw it and you'll see if you are right. <laughs> he's confused because he's like, why have you threw it? I always saw it on the back of me. Go! There we go. <laughs> I usually throw it behind me, don't I? That was confusing for you. There, there's some birds. What are they? I don't know if you, you probably can't see them on the camera. You might recognise it from the sound if you are a bird person. Crap! Sin. Yeah. I thought it'd be empty. Not like I wanted to eat it or anything, but. Some other little critters have had a nice feast. Go on then, get your ball. Get your ball. Let's go. So we're back in the pod did about three and a half miles in total. I've now got some Chilean rice on the hob, I'm gonna have some tea, and then I think I'm actually gonna go to the co-op. I need some bread and some fresh fruit. Let me just stir this. So I need some bread and fresh fruit. I also need to get some cash out to pay the campsite because they don't take card payments. And although we seem quite nonchalant about it and quite happy to accept it whenever i just would prefer to get it paid rather than dawdle with it so yeah after i've had this i'm gonna go sort that out Although Scotland is famous for salmon, haggis, oats, among many other foods, arguably my favourite food product from Scotland is Tunnock's Tea Cakes. Oh, I've got nowhere to put it. Those are my towing mirrors. I can't squish my towing mirrors. I mean, I've got a van, I could have put them in the back, but no.
I'm so tired. It's about half past eight, but it's been a very long day. So I'm going to get ready and go to bed and have an early night. I don't know if you can hear, but Winston is snoring directly under the table. <laughs> and it's not helping me because I just feel insanely jealous that I want to be snoring as well. So that's what I'm going to do. And pack away, get to bed, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. So as I turn the camera off and turn around, I saw this. I've just bought this from the co-op, so it was full. But then I've just sat here with a fork and a cup of tea, meaning to only have like this much, and I've over half of it. And this is just pure sugar. It's, it doesn't even, it's not the nicest cake I've ever had. I wouldn't say it was really tasty and I probably wouldn't buy it again but it's sugary and it kind of hit some type of spot. I don't know what it was, but I think it's just because I'm tired and I'm craving, I'm just craving stuff. So I think that's why, that's why, sorry. That's why I just end up eating half of it. But I'm actually quite ashamed of myself. That's a lot. Anyway, definitely getting ready for bed now. I am feeling very rough this morning. I don't know if it's because I had an exhausting day yesterday or whether it's because of all the sugar I consumed yesterday. It's probably a mix of both of those things actually. But I slept like an absolute log and then woke up this morning not feeling very refreshed. The plan today was we were going to drive down to Eriskay again, do a hike only a short one, I think it was about two or three miles, and then come back here. And then this afternoon, it's meant to be sunny. So I was hoping to then go and either get on the water or in the water. I think it was going to be too windy for paddle boarding, but I think it would have been okay for wild swimming. When it comes to paddle boarding, I don't like to be out in any wind that's higher than 10 miles an hour simply because it's so hard to get the paddleboard through water when you're fighting wind. It's not pleasurable. And the last thing I want is to be blown out anywhere. Um, where in the water is a bit easier. You're not obviously fighting the wind as much because you're in the water as opposed to sitting on top of it on a big floating dinghy type thing. So I've been in the Outer Hebrides for almost a week now. I think this is my sixth day. And I haven't managed to get on or in the water or even close to it. And I'm feeling quite anxious about that because I don't want to go all the way through this trip with all these amazing beaches and never get on or in the water. I don't want to go back to the mainland without having gotten my paddleboard out or without having gotten my wetsuit on. So I feel as though it's an achievement that I have to do. I have to do it. But at the same time, you need the right weather conditions not only for safety, but also for it to be pleasurable and to have a good time. No one wants to be in freezing cold water getting battered around everywhere with wind. So I'm going massively off track here. The whole point of this was to try and tell you what we were doing today. So the original plan was we were going to go for a hike. And then when the sun came out this afternoon, I was going to try and get in the water. But because of my hangover due to my overconsumption of sugar and exhaustion from yesterday, I don't feel like doing that much today. So this morning we are going to stay in the pod. I'm going to have a really nice breakfast, have a little bit of a chill out, maybe have a little bit of a snooze. And then this afternoon, if the sun comes out, we're going to go play on or in the water. And then we're going to move the hike to tomorrow. So that's the plan. Sorry if I've waffled for a little bit too long. Brain's not quite functioning yet this morning. And I'm starting to get hungry. I want some breakfast.
So I got this breakfast pack from the co-op, which included beef slices, sausages, and black pudding. And I had it with some mushrooms. Now in hindsight, I should have got some beans, eggs, and hash browns, but it was fine on its own. So I've just been sat doing a little bit of, well, I say work, I've been kind of tinkering and doing admin stuff. And Winston's been conked out all morning. I think he needed this rest time as well. Although he didn't do much yesterday, I was the one packing away, driving, mm -hmm. sorting the ferry out, all that stuff. Hey. But it's still stressful on him. Mentally, maybe not physically. It is now 10 to 11 and I'm still in my PJs, so I'm going to get washed and changed. So it's about half past three. I've taken Winston for a walk. We went down the beach that I went on yesterday. He's now asleep behind me. I've just done a little bit of work with the laptop down here. I'm now gonna go out and check the beach outside of the campsite to see how I feel about going for a swim. So when I came back from Winston's beach walk, the water was looking a bit rough. The wind has died down since then. So it's about a 15 mile an hour wind. And also the sun has came out. So I don't know if you can see, but it's a lot brighter. It's not as gray. It's, it just looks like a better day than what it did a few hours ago but I'm still gonna go out and check. I've checked the tides. I also, when I came back from Winston's walk, kind of followed the coast round to see where everything goes, where all the rocks and stuff are, and just kind of give myself an aerial view of where I would be swimming, so I had an idea, rather than just going in blind and exploring. Also, this, I've been speaking to the guy here, he said they don't have any rip currents out here, and because it is like a bay, it's very shallow, and it just kind of slowly gets deeper the further it goes out, so there's no like, big drops or anything it is a very shallow bay so I was like okay that's great you don't need a lot of water to swim in anyway so if I can stand up at all points that's equally great because it just makes it a lot safer so I'm just going to pop all this stuff away and then have a little walk across the road and see what it looks like and see if I feel like going for a swim I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I can because I'm in the Outer Hebrides until the 17th of June then I go back to the mainland I have checked the weather report and the weather report is up to the 7th. So yes, not those last 10 days, but up to the 7th, it's a complete washout. It's rain, it's wind. This is the best weather I've got from now until like the 7th of June. And then I don't know what's gonna happen after that. And I would hate to leave the Outer Hebrides without having a chance to go wild swimming. And also to go paddle boarding. It's, there's too much wind to go paddleboard today, so it's going to have to be wild swimming. But if I don't get to do either, I will be very upset and it'll be very disappointing. But at the same time, it's got to be safe. I can't just go chuck myself in the ocean in any old weather. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's pack this away and let's go have a look.
I think this is okay. I would prefer calm water, but I do still think it's going to be fine. I'm not going to swim out into the middle. I'm just going to stay in this little bay. And I don't want to miss the opportunity. So even if I'm only out for 15, 20 minutes, that's fine. Maybe I just do like a little lap or a little circle around the bay. And I'll be fine. That'll just tick a box for me. I'm, I don't want to go miles. But yeah, I think this is going to be fine. So let me go and wriggle into my wetsuit, which is a wriggle if you've ever put a wetsuit on. It's a full on shimmy to get it up. But yeah, let's go get it on. Okay, so I've had to balance you on a rock because I put the action cam onto a floating mount and it doesn't have the little tripod thingy. So I'm in my wetsuit. I've got my wetsuit booties on, wetsuit gloves, pair goggles, and my toe float, which also doubles up as a dry bag. So in here, I have got my mobile phone in a waterproof floatable pouch and also the keys to my caravan. And I'm just gonna wrap this down Oh, other way, so I can have the breathing tube available and close it. And then I'm going to inflate it with this. This helps other things see me in the water and it can also act as a bit of a buoyancy aid if I need a rest, I can balance on it and stuff. So yeah. Winston's not here because he obviously doesn't want to be in the water for that long and he hasn't got a wetsuit so it would be a little bit too cold for him. Um, but I'm going to see what the water's like and if I put them on right I can't see. I'm going to... Yeah. Um, I'm going to see what the water's like I'm trying to multitask, I'm terrible at this. So I'm gonna see what the water's like and then when I'm finished, I might go back and get him. I've put his little buoyancy aid out in case he wants to come down and have a swim as well. But I'll see what it's like first. Right, ready, let's go. idea how I'm gonna hold you guys and swim. If I've decided I'm gonna put you guys down on a rock over in the corner. That's the only thing I can do. I'm just gonna leave it on the front because I can't I can't swim holding on to this. But look how clear the water is. Chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better So I've just met a lady who went in in her bathing suit. She 
she was like, it's now or never. And I was like, yes. Obviously she couldn't stay too long, but she came in and then I've just been taking some photographs for her. Um, but I'm now gonna go get Winston and let him come in and come for a bit of a swim. He's only gonna wanna be in it for a couple of minutes, but we'll see. I just need to get off this rather big rock. Show me life, show me love, make a change, time is up. We can wait for better days, but the days won't come. Show me life, show me love, show me life, show me love, make a change, time is up. We can wait for better days, but the days won't come. Show me life. So Winston has been dried and wrapped in his rug. I've just been off and had a nice hot shower. I then strung out the washing line for all the wetsuit stuff. And I don't know if you can see behind me, but it's turned into a really nice evening. And I've even seen a few other people go out swimming. Now, because of the nice weather, Winston and I have sat outside for a little bit while I clean my boots. I did look a bit strange because it's about half six in the evening and I'm already in my PJs because when I went for a shower, it didn't make sense to put on any other clothes. So I just put on my pyjamas and my pyjama bottoms have got quite a um, relaxed waist belt. So I've been trying not to, but I think every time I'm bending over, I think I'm showing my pants or my crack or something, but... But now Winston has had his tea, we've spent a bit of time outside, we're going to leave the door open, I'm going to have some lunch, I'm going to make a sandwich and then I'm going to start editing one of the first videos of this adventure. Which obviously by the time you see this won't make much difference to you guys because it would have already been like, I think we'll be like a good few episodes in by now. But I'm actually editing the one way, take the pod to the Waybridge. It's not really the first one of the adventure but it's the first one 
kind of leading up to it. I don't know if that makes sense. And it's, it's no bother to you anyway, because it'll be out by the time you watch this. So yeah, I'm just going to go do that. sat here working whilst the star of the show rests. Now I'm very sorry about the reflection and the light but that's because a sunset is just about to take place right outside my window. Let me just put the flash on. Oh, okay that made no bit of difference whatsoever because the window was dirty but you get the idea. Nice sunset behind me. Sorry, did I wake you up with that window opening? Were you having a nice sleep? I'm sorry, Your Highness. You may go back to sleep. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> oh, does His Highness demand attention? I wonder how you cope sometimes, Winston. I do. I I'm a virtual how. assistant. Oh? Can you stop? Can you stop commanding Siri to do stuff? Yeah. Hmm. I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can help with? Is there something else Siri can help with? What do you think? I'm here to help. Get to know Siri at apple.com. There you go, Winst. Visit apple.com. And you can find out all the ways in which Siri can help you in your hard life. Now of course I had to go outside and catch the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> 